Welcome back to Valkyrie Profile. We are officially in Chapter 2 after completing Chapter 1 as we sent our Unharrier up, the Lewin. And Freya is relatively happy with us. Um, yeah, I know I said I was going to do some of this stuff off screen, but I decided, you know, there is actually a few things that I kind of want to want to show in here as well. So we have the blue items here, which are the new ones, which I don't think I'm going to buy in the, in any of these. These are extremely expensive. So I think this is the, the main one that is equipped on Valkyrie right now. So it has a hunter attack and it does the third attack. This one's 60 damage and it does a second attack. And then this one does 50 damage, but it does three attacks. So I don't know how worth it this one is, despite the fact that it is... You do get more attacks out of it, but... And then there's some other 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 ones here that are that are pretty good. I'll probably save some, some of my money for, uh, for that. And then for this, it looks like... There's some new things here. This one just has some extra ice damage, so I'll probably just... Probably not gonna not not gonna buy buy the ice one. I'll save some of my money. I'll buy some of some of those. And then these, this is actually a big improvement from what we already had here. So that's by it's by like two or two of those. I don't know how much we actually need. And let's say this one is 55 and 120. So that's actually really good. Let's just get a get a few of those. Silver tiara that is quite a bit better. A feather tiara is even better though. We already have one of those. Let's get one, one more. Silver cloak it looks also looks looks pretty good. Let's get a, get a few of those silver gaunt gauntlets. Let's get three silver greaves. Let's get like three of those. Okay. Then we got some other things here. Stun check, rabbit's foot, which does all these all these sorts of things. Does a variety of different um stuff here. Okay. So now, what I also want to do is... I can also con convert items and just kind of get rid of the ones that I don't don't need any any anymore. So I actually have a table now of all the items. So I can actually see if they convert into anything, and if not anything useful, then I can just sell it. So I believe the sealed box... We can trans transmute it for a... Yeah, a Noble Elixir Potion, which restores lost DME of all four party members, including Valkyrie, restores 99% of maximum DME. I don't really care about that, so I'm just going to go ahead and just get rid of the sealed box. And we end up getting 2,500, so that's actually really, really good. So, yeah, I'll probably just look at some of those other ones a, a bit later, because, yeah, I don't really need to worry too much about that. So, Secrets of Damascus, that turns into a Fairy Earring. Earrings which reduce charge turn by one. However, charge turn would not go below one. Okay. So this this may actually be really good for our our mage character. So why don't I go ahead and 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 do that? Let's see what else that we have here. So we can learn different skills. And we can, you know, learn different different ones here. We can upgrade them. But there's actually a few things that I kind of wanna learn here, such as this one, Guts. I want to learn the ability Guts. That's actually a really useful ability, so I want to use that. Let's see what else that, uh, that we have here. So, Enemy Search. Let's go ahead and do this. Ring, which uh, warns wearers of the presence of enemies. When equipped, a red mark will appear. Only Valkyrie can equip it. So, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. And let's actually start using some of these items that we ended up getting. So... Here's a bunch of uh, skills here. So guts. It doesn't actually tell you what it does here, but we will be able to be, be able to use that. So combo counter. Normalize. Let's go ahead and do that on Jelanda, I suppose. Weight reaction. There you go. Frigid dam dam. So I guess also on Jelanda. Uh, Fireland. She already knows. And then. Okay, I think that is. So here we go. It's magic pal and then set pal. So we got a. Whole bunch of new um, attacks and things that we can end up using here. So why don't we go ahead and equip some of our amazing new armor and stuff that we ended up getting? Yeah. So here we go. Look, we're actually going to increase our things quite a bit here. Yeah. Look at that. Amazing. Amazing improvement. Okay. And then yeah, this one's going to increase it quite a quite a quite a bit. Very, very good. So now they have a lot more 
a lot more de uh, defense. So gauntlets are going to be silver gauntlets. There we go. And I didn't buy anything for Jelena because she never gets gets attacked. So it's really not all that all that important. But we got the silver greaves. Very very good. Okay. Okay, she can actually equip, equip the greaves. <clears throat> so we did did get a few new things here, including the enemy search, which will warn us when an enemy is nearby, as well as the treasure search, so we'll be able to see those sort of things. And then lastly, J uh, Jelanda, let's go ahead and equip the fairy earring on her to so re re reduce her charge turn. Okay, and then the last thing that I want to do, I want to see who's about to get ready to uh, le level up, which looks uh, looks like it is going to be... Um, looks like Valkyrie and Jelanda are about the same. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to make sure that the Emerald Necklace is equipped on her because that will increase her... Her capacity points by uh, by 100 when her level goes up. So, with that, I believe that we have most of everything done for our, our characters. There may, there may be a few more things here and there, but... Go ahead and save. Very, very good. Okay. So let's do our first spiritual concentration. And see what we end up getting. Hmm, looks like we're heading back to Artolia. All right. So yeah, why don't we go ahead and head on over over there? I believe that is right here. No, that's not it. Okay. Is it, is it this one? No, that's not it. it. Must be this one right, right here. There we go. So we have been been here before. This is where we've recruited uh, Arngrim and Jelanda. So looks like we're heading back. Arngrim. Oh no, it's uh, Arngrim's brother. He has been kidnapped. I see. Been put into jail. Arngrim did what? This is some sort of mistake. So this is after Arngrim ended up killing himself. So this is Lawfer here. We, I think we briefly saw him, but it wasn't too much, so... Please check again. He killed Princess Jelanda, Lord Lombert, and 30 soldiers of the guard. The situation is clear. Father. Please understand. Please let's just stop, Arngrim. I'm not a genius like you. Genius? That's what losers say. He's different. He's special. Pick up your spear. All you can do is your best. So the famous genius of the battlefield has gone nuts. Yeah, it looks like he's gone berserk or something. If this world is hell, then the gods must be kinder than everybody thinks. Ho ho ho, you must be a content man indeed, if that's the way you think. So 
There's no one else here who could take this job. Please look after Roland for me. See you later. Stop right there. Do you really expect your friends to just sit by quietly while you go to meet your own death? Dying for justice and lofty ideas is pointless. There are many who would agree. But there are many who would not. You're talking about Arngrim again, eh? About him being special? You're wrong. It's not like that. Lawfer. In that line of work, I know there are times when you have to just grit your teeth and face death. But that doesn't mean you should throw your life away. Hey, let's all go together. There's no reason to go it alone. If we all go, then... No. Don't you ever wonder why Arngrim did what he did? Even though he understood what it would do to Roland? It's not just that. He didn't want to draw his sword again, against my father, and so he... When I think of how he must have felt... I will not run away! Father... I am grateful that you chose a name for me that begins with a law. Though it may not be exactly the type of law my father had in mind. Okay. There we go. So, now that we have seen the events of that, Take a look. So, yes, we actually have Lawfer now. So, here are his base stats. Here's his, uh, you know, relatively, uh, you know, they all start out relatively weak. That's just how it is. So, he's a spearman and knight. He's 20 years old. Resistance to lightning, it looks like. And we don't have really anything to speak of for, for him, really. But anyway, a young soldier from Artolia. Following in the footsteps of his knightly father, from a noble lineage, Lawfer had to fight against the expectations placed on him, as well as struggling to compete with the more skilled Arngrim. So, speaking of Arngrim, you know, I think maybe we should uh, swap him out. <laughs> there we go. Have him on our, on our team just to try him out, you know? So let's see what he has here. He has the all pike. Let's go ahead and, and equip that. Let's see if he has anything better here. It doesn't look like it. We probably should have bought, bought some more equipment for him, but... Eh. We didn't really have anything. And these don't really do much of anything to speak of. This does a little bit, it looks like. Darkness, minus 50. Minus, yeah, okay. Eh, yeah, yeah. We can get a little bit of that. I guess what we could do is we could un unequip Ongrim for the for the time being. So let's uh, let's do, uh, do that. So I wonder if Arn. Uh, I don't think Lawfer can use use that use that. But that's that's go ahead and say no. He can. Okay. So there you go. He can have a little a little better stuff here. It looks like there you go. That 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 boosts up his his defense quite a bit. Now, he is still relatively weak, being 110 attack versus Bellinus, 254, 268, 226, and that's without a weapon. You know, if you put put his weapon weapon back back on him, you know, then it's like 306. So, yeah, Arngrim is still very, very power powerful, but now we have this, this, this character here. Okay, let's go ahead and do another spiritual concentration and see where this leads us.
Okay, the Cave of Oblivion. We may as well go ahead over over there because we can't really fight the enemies there, so I don't really need to recruit any more characters. So, yeah, I think we need to head over there. Alright. They... <clears throat> best of the best on PS1, huh? Yeah, this is a game that I've never actually played, so it's uh, interesting to actually play it. It really is. I'm going to save first. Actually, I guess I'm doing a, another spiritual concentration. Hey, where's this one leading us? This is another character, it looks like. Leading us to High Lawn. Okay, I, I, th I think we can we can go over there first. And then we'll head to the Cave of Oblivion. Let's head over there. Okay, so High Lawn, this is a new area that we've not been to yet. An island isolated just off the southeast coast. High Lawn was developed its own unique culture. It is filled with unusual flora and fauna, as well as less natural magical beings. Hmm. Ash Ash Ketchup was it was 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 here really? Oh yes, it has a lot of Pokemon voices. Yes, a lot of characters from Pokemon. Misty Brock. People from from Yu-Gi-Oh as well, such as Arngrim's voice is actually a woman who plays that. Also, Yugi's gr grandfather from uh, Yu-Gi-Oh. So yes, there will be a lot of uh, voices that you may be familiar with. Okay, so here is Yumai. I hope this isn't a bad idea. Looks like she is a mermaid. But how do I know it's the right ship? This is pointless. We're not going to catch anything today. The Bonito are a bit late this year. What's wrong? Dad, did you just hear someone yell? What? You're in the middle of the ocean? Listen, there it is again. Help me. Help. What? What? Isn't someone going to respond to my cries? Or is that a ghost ship? Only a skeleton dried. Are you okay? Okay, so she took off her mer mermaid suit. Yes. You surprised me, kid. What do you think you're doing out here? You could have drowned. My ship. It sank. Sank? What happened to the others? Where are the other survivors? I, I don't know. So, what's your name? You my. It means dream. Ryuki. What are you so- why are you so quiet? Huh? I just, um... Um, well, anyway, it looks like we don't- we didn't catch anything today. So, should we head back to port? Hmm. You're probably right about that. Do you know where- what a lapis is? Lapis. You mean a lapis lazuli, the gemstone? That's right. But this isn't a normal one. It's special. Ah, uh, you mean the... Cer Cerulean lapis. 
Yeah, I know about that. Any sailor worth his salt does. Though it's true that it grants wishes. If only I could find one. Ha, huh, I hate to break it to you, girly, but it don't really exist. Just another old wives' tale. Sorry, lassie. Didn't mean to upset you. Something wrong? No, it's nothing. The Curlean Lapis is a myth. But, if that's true... What was that? You don't know? It's the Uzu. The Uzu? When the current shifts, the sea can turn into a giant whirlpool. The tremble you felt just now is a ship changing course. There's nothing to worry about. I believe in the Krulian Lapis. Huh? I heard you talking to my father. Father is growing old and he's lost the ability to hope and dream. But I still believe the Lapis is real. Do you think I'm silly? No. Thanks for the encouragement. I'll try to believe it in it too. That's good. Because you'll never find it if you don't believe in it. Yuki, if you find the Krillian Lapis, what would you wish for? Um... Well, our ship is pretty bad shape, so I guess I'd wish for a new one. The finest one in all of Hylon. What about you? Me? Uh... Haven't really thought about it. I see. Miss, you asked us to take you to this town. But, now you say you have nowhere to go? I'm sorry to nag, but may I ask why you wanted to come here? Honestly, I wasn't trying to hide anything. I came here to see my father. Your father? That's right. What's his name? Ko Region Ko. Ko? You don't mean Shogun Ko? You know him? Everyone knows of Shogun Ko and his family. I don't mean to be rude, but are you the child of one of his mistresses? I only ask because, well, I assume that a family member would would have to know that Shogun Ko is dead. Do you know of the war between Hylan and the Merfolk? It ended only a few years ago. Shogun Ko was commanding the navy against the Merfolk. In the midst of a battle, he fell overboard. There was no time to save him and everyone assumed he had drowned. But miraculously, he later washed ashore alive and well. He was a changed man after that. The Shogun Co. worked tirelessly to make peace with the merfolk and end the war. He was a war hero who became a legendary peacemaker. But his efforts took their toll, and he succumbed to illness a few years ago. The whole nation mourned his passing. And he was a great man. The reason she wanted the lapis was so she could see her father? Why did you Maya lie to me?
I'm sorry, Yumai, but I couldn't find anyone by the name of Ko. Thank you for trying. Oh, it was no problem. I'd like to help any way I can. Well, there's no point in searching anymore. Why not? Don't you want to see your father? Don't give up. The Lapis. I know it's real. You said you'd try to believe in it. There is no Karelian Lapis. What? But Lumai. There is no Lapis, and my father is dead. Lumai. It doesn't matter anymore. Please just leave me alone. Wait. Where are you going? Lumai. Damn, she's fast. Is that the direction of the shore? Surely she doesn't intend to kill herself. That noise. It's the Uzu. Yumai. Ah, look. There's her true form. Though so she was a mermaid. She was a mermaid. Are you surprised? I'm not human. I... I... I didn't. You should get away from the shore. The Uzu will be here soon. What about you? You've wanted this Karelian Kar Lapis so that you could see your father. I'm kind of disappointed. It looks like you didn't trust me. When all I wanted to do was help you. That's why I searched the whole city for information about the Lapis. You're wrong. Huh? It's true. That I wanted to see my father. But that isn't the thing that I would have wished for. Then why? My mother. She died recently. Ever since my mother bore me. The child of a human. She's been ostracized by the other merfolk. Even when she died. No one mourned her. I couldn't cry. Whenever I wanted to cry, everyone would glare at me with those cold eyes, and I just couldn't do it. But it was more than just that. I didn't smile when I was happy. I didn't cry when I was sad. What I didn't realize was that I had given up on living entirely. I was such a fool. At the very least, I wanted to make my father cry. My wish for the Lapis would have been for my father, mother, and me to have been able to live together as a family. But it's not fair. Now they get to be together without me. Yumai, please, don't do this. Goodbye, Yuki. It's- I'm sorry I lied to you.
Okay, well... I couldn't cry. Whenever I wanted to cry, everyone would just glare at me and I wouldn't be able to. But it was more than just that. I was such a fool. I was a fool too. Why didn't I stop her? What? What's this? When a Carillion gem is in the young man's palm, when two strangers have spoken their hearts, and when two hearts have connected as one, then the legend has truly been reborn. The Legend of the Carillion Lapis I was not expecting his voice to sound like that. Lapis, grant my heart's desire. I wish that you may is able to be with her parents again. Wishes for her death? His wish will be granted. I do not know if this girl will prove worthy of Valhalla. But as promised, they will be together. The sea did not calm. Numai did not return. But the boy sat patiently and stared at the ocean. His wish was granted. But there was no proof of this. I believe in the Carillion Lapis. I, I, I need to talk like like him. He had he had a very obnoxious sounding voice. Thanks for the encouragement. I'll try to believe in it too. That's good. And you'll never find it if you don't believe in it. There's his daddy. And so... Fuyuki decided to believe once again. To believe that Yume was happy. Together with her family. Forevermore.
Okay, that one was actually quite a lengthy story there. Something I should mention. The characters that you get from chapter 2, 3, 4, and I think maybe like 5 and 6 even. Maybe even, you know, most, most of them past, past chapter 1. They are random. Not necessarily like extremely random, but random in that there are several characters that we could get. There are a total of like four characters we could get through this, for this chapter. But you're not going to get all those characters. It could be a set of a variety of them. So that is the one that, that, that we got there. Lawfer, on the other hand, y you would definitely get him as long as you're playing on normal and hard difficulty. So, yeah, the other characters could be completely random. And that can be a problem because you may not get the most opportune character, the uh, best character to actually send up to Valhalla. But, you know, that's just that's just how it is. Anyway, after we have recruited her, let's look at her information. Now, she is a spellcaster. Here she is, her... Her um, strength is, uh, she does, let's say, one, 136, whereas Jelaine does 375. We can ch check her out a little bit, but personally, I don't think I really want to use her, or maybe I will. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Anyway, so she's a mermaid. She's a sorceress. She's 16 years old. And she has a uh, uh, stone torch, icicle edge, and frigid damsel. Those are some of her... Free spells. Let's take a look. A maiden of the mermaid people. She is able to change into a human form whenever she desires. She was raised to be wary of people, but always tries to appear cheerful. Hers is a somewhat sad and tragic life. So there she is kind of doing like a chicken dance looking looking thing or whatever. I don't know what, what she's doing, but we're not going to worry about that. <laughs> we're not going to worry about that at all. Anyway. So I actually want to head back in, into here. So now we can actually explore the town a little bit. Okay. Let's see what, what we have. So we have an inn. There may be a few people here we can talk to or interact with, but probably not much. June, have you heard of the cave known as the Dark Mirror? Hmm. No, I don't think so. Interesting. I wonder if it's true that the demon army is closing in on High Lawn. The war to the east shows no sign of ending. But the rumors about the demon army continue. Hmm, is a demon army coming this way towards this town, huh? That does not sound good. Okay, we have a residence here. As long as we have Lady Shisho to protect us, this land has little to fear from its enemies. And no matter how much glory the war brings, it won't bring my son back to me. Kind of has a little, little, little raspy voice. A seashore. Okay, here's the shrine, which... Yeah, we can't actually go to that, it looks like. We can head to the seashore. Yuki, I'm sorry. Who? Fragment of Lapis Gem. Okay. There we go. So let's take a look at that. That we just picked up. Okay, Fragment of Lapis Gem. So a fragment of a crystal containing a mermaid tear. So it looks like it brings down our ice by 50%. Now let me search to see if this has any other use. <clears throat> I 
Okay, so it doesn't look like we can trans transmute it at all. I, th I don't think those things that we end up picking up that, that we actually can. So yeah, we can't really do much of anything with that. But anyway, we have now picked that up. Nope, I did not want to head over here, but it looks like that was everything. We picked up the item. Time to head out. Nice little, nice little village. I guess I will put her in my party briefly, but uh, yeah, I don't know if, she, if I want to see her doing that chicken dance. Now, has the Cave of Oblivion gone away? I believe this is this is where where it was, right? So, if you recruit another character, the Cave of Oblivion goes away, which is absolutely sucks. Okay, so I missed it. Oh, no, wait, wait, no, hang on. That's right. There's always a red red marker. I sure this is this is not it. Hang on. Yeah, there it is. Okay. I got confused. I thought it was in that other spot and it wasn't. It was actually here. So, yeah, let's go ahead and go into the cave of oblivion. Never now, we're not going to fight any monsters here. We just want to try to get the a treasure. So, there is various maps that I found of this area. So, this looks like it could be one. There's a total of four different types of maps we could end up getting here. So let's see what this one is. Okay, so I see the map. This one is a relatively large map, it looks like. So again, we want to avoid the enemies at all costs. And we see the little red n n n near us there to signify that. Uh... Okay. Signify that there's an enemy nearby. Okay. Yeah! Darn, he's like too, too far away. Can I actually jump up there? I can. There we go. So, got some more enemies. Lots of enemies. Oh my gosh. Okay, careful. Okay, got some nice tr treasure. So we got the broken blade. Okay, so these items here. Let me take a look. I, I don't think we can actually equip it, but uh, actually we actually can. No, 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 we can't. Okay, so the broken blade. Right here. So long sword, which is broken by rough handling. So it looks like it wouldn't do anything, right? We could literally just get get rid of it, you know. But we're not going to do that. No, we're not. And it says it also has a 6% chance of breaking. We can't convert it either. So I'm going to keep keep those because it's actually very, very important to keep those items. The broken items. Okay. Okay, okay. I made it through. So, now let's see. So, yeah, th that was about, um, there's a little bit more to this map. Careful of these, of these enemies. I do not want to fight them because they're just too strong. Okay, so I want to make sure that I make this jump over, over here. Ooh, almost. Okay, I am actually, I did actually save. Because I, I knew I would not be able to get back up really easily. Okay. I missed it again. Let's do that again. She's not jumping. She's not jumping right at the edge. I don't know why, but she's not She's not jumping. I don't want to have to climb it back, but she's not jumping though. Okay, come on. There we go. Finally, she ended up jumping. Okay. Okay, so it looks like there is some treasure here. There are no en enemies here, which is, which is good. Looks like the treasure might be like right here. Okay, maybe up this way. Okay, nope, nothing up there. Maybe facing this way. Hmm. Where's this darn treasure? There we go. Okay, finally got it. So that's the Ether Scepter. Looks like there's actually more more treasure here. 
There we go. The nightshade. I believe that is everything. Yes. Okay, so we got the Aether Scepter and the Nightshade. Let's take a look at those. Nightshade Herb, which causes illusion. Apparently, it is used in magic ceremony, so... And then the Aether Scepter, 30% of chance of breaking, allows Weir to perform great magic, but it cannot long endure the power it wields. So again, much like that other one that had a 50% 50, 50 chance of breaking. Yeah. I guess I could equip that onto... Yeah, she has... Oh gosh, look how much it increases her... her magic. That's insane. That's absolutely insane. And I don't think it'll break as long as we don't do... the powerful attack. So... Okay. And I will get... I will give that to her so she can uh, give it a try. Okay, so now there's another path over... This this way here, okay. And looks like there's there's no enemies. Looks like there's just treasure. See what we'll we end up getting. Ebony power. Iron ore. Okay, let's see about those. Iron ore. That that's the second one that that we got of. I don't think this has any sort of use. I think we can sell it, but I should double check just to make sure. It actually can turn into other items. It actually can turn into other items. Um, we can actually transmute it into ebony pow uh, powder that we just got as well. So, I will keep keep that for now. I don't know if there's really any sort of use for it, but, eh. Okay, I think that is everything here. Okay, so we have cleaned it out. We have gotten the the, the, the necessary treasures. Fairly good, good things, including the a uh, broken item. Okay. So why don't we go ahead and save now and see what our next, our next place to go is. That's taken us to the Salerno Academy. Or Salerno Academy, rather. I will not be heading there yet. That is a dungeon in this chapter. Let's do another spiritual concentration. Looks like a familiar place that we just were. So this is High Lawn. So it looks like we're heading back to High Lawn for another character. All right, let's head down. Who's it going to be now? Now we did speak to the villagers. Maybe it is someone that that we have seen before. Let's see. Shinto priest, it's impressive you came here every day to pray, but for what? For the safe return of my brother. He he's going on a quest to find medicine to treat my eyes. 
I say. An ogre? Oh no, it's Shrek! Gosh darn you, Shrek. Yes, an ogre demon has been sighted near High Lawn. Then I shall slay this ogre. Oh gosh. It seems you have no onions for me, so I shall devour your soul. <laughs> seems you have no further need for those eyes. No. No. Darn, I didn't realize Shrek was so evil. Earlier, a young man came here. At first, I mistook him for you. Could it be? It must have been my brother. My brother and I are twins. Ah, of course. He said to give you this amulet. I've been holding it for you. What? Why here? Well, he knew you were coming here, didn't he? Truly twins are a wonder. And what will your soul project upon this dark cave? Soul. I possess no such thing. Ha! Oh, my onion heart. Donkey. Donkey. Which would your sister prefer? You dying so that she may live on? Or you surviving to be by her side when she dies? I shall not die today. Nor shall you take my sister. This is a June here. I believe we, we did see him. We He's the one who said something in the... Was it the inn? He said something about some sort of cavern or something. So, yeah, he, here he is. One cannot get something for nothing in this world. If it's, it's life that you seek, life is the price you must pay. I offer you the soul stone in exchange for your life. I thought I made it clear that I shall not die today. I never had any intention of accepting your bargain. What? Then I would take it by force. Oh, I bet you taste like an onion. I shall eat you now. This is a foolish demon that seeks a deal with humans. Ha 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 ha. Is it because you value the blood over all else? Then you will never tire of the sight of it. This is a typical of human soul, and no, now it is the soul of a demon. You and I are one. Ah, so that's what happened. So he turned into the ogre. Ogre! And I will live on. For my body was but a vessel. <laughs> Time to go back to my swamp with Donkey. <laughs> uh, where's Shrek? There's no demons here. You are merely confronting your own soul. The ogre was my only soul, was my own soul. Humans are often misled by the truth. This whole cavern is a dark mirror. Ah, that is what he was talking about. Yes, the dark, dark mirror. Where one must confront one's own soul. I understand how you feel, human. But you must understand what your 
Warp Soul has done. As twins, your life and your sisters are forever intertwined. You cannot help but influence each other's existence. So, it is your sister's eyes that have become clouded. Or is it your own soul? My soul? I did this? To her? Somehow, my brother has cured me after all. But what I wanted was... I'm sure everything is fine. Why do you think this? I don't know. I only know what... That it is how I feel. Okay, there we go. Let's check out our new, new character. Yeah, that's two characters now that we have gotten in High Lawn. Let's take a look at our new character that we just got. So here he is, June. He's a samurai, as you can see. So he's a human samurai, 21 years old. Here's some of his stats. He hasn't been equipped so far. So a young man from the land of Yamato. He wields two swords in a style, all his own. His goal is to find a miracle drug that will cure his beloved sister, Ai, of her blindness. Oh, okay, so she is she's blind. His life is devoted solely to his sister, whom he cherishes. Okay. Now, we do not need to go back into Hylon after that. I don't think that there is anything there for us. But, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do another spiritual concentration. A net Nedhav Swamp? Oh, this is where the Ogre is! Oh, yes. Shrek. I don't know why Shrek has a slight Doc Dr. Fauci voice, but... Ogre. Ogres are like onions. Okay, so that's another dungeon. Let's see if there's anything else. Okay, that looks like it is it is now clear. Okay, so there's no more for this chapter. So we have two dungeons that we will need to need to complete. I want to try our our new characters. We got quite a few new characters, so I guess I will put them into our party just to see. Um, Lawfer is new, as well as I'm gonna put the, put the chicken girl in in here, <laughs> Lumai, and then I'm also gonna put a. June in here, Jun, as well. Okay, so yeah, those are the new characters. We're probably going to, you know, fail tremendously. Oh yes, the ogre is, is my new character. Ogre. So let's see what he has to actually equip to increase some of his stats. 5% chance of breaking. 6% chance of breaking, 5%, 5%. Okay, so this is the only thing he can actually equip. That's actually worthwhile. Actually, can I just do... Okay, so that does kind of work. But, yeah, it gives us a weapon that can that can break. So let's just e equip that. And I think everything else is probably fine. Okay. And then for our other character... Lawfer's already equipped. Let's go ahead and... That's right, she's already equipped as well. Reeves. Fragment of Lapis Gem. I guess she can equip that because it is like the the uh, mermaid there. Okay. So. Yeah, I guess it's time to head into our dungeon now. Let's go ahead and save. There are two dungeons for this one. We have the swamp. And then we have the... What was the other one? Sol Solano Academy. 
So I would be doing the swamp first. Okay. I want to save first, though. So let's go ahead and save. We'll try out our, our new characters. Okay. Let's head over to the swamp to see Donkey. Donkey! <laughs> okay, let's see. It is one of these. Okay, yep, here's the swamp. Alright, we're gonna head to the swamp. This, uh, this is available on normal and hard d difficulty. A horrible stench permeates the Nethov swamp. Noxus fumes stem forth from the ground and call to the undead to feed on the flesh of the living. Some hidden power must be there. Causing this unnatural disturbance. Ooh. Okay, time to go visit Shrek and Donkey. Yeah, why don't we go ahead and start exploring this area? Looks like we can go back to the rear. I'm gonna try to try to go back to the to, uh, to the rear as far as I possibly can. Looks like here's a bird, a harpy. Yeah, come on, come on down to ground level. Oh, here's another one, too. Do I know about the Beast of Gervandan? No, I do not know about that. Mother, watch over me? Okay. So, let's see how these characters fare, you know. <laughs> let's see if there's any spells. Does she have any spells? So she does. She has... Icicle Edge, Razor Sharp Icicles descend upon your foe. Each Icicle has a 1 and 8th chance of freezing foe. Why don't we go ahead and give that a try? Oh snap! Oh snap! Oh my gosh, she just killed them all! I... Have I made a terrible mistake? Wow. Okay, honestly, I was not expecting, like, a one-hit KO. Okay, hold up, hold up. She may just need to be in my party for right now. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I think it's because of this. Because her, her weapon is extremely powerful. Okay, so I actually want to probably... Yeah, let's, let's go ahead and, and remove the fairy earring from J Jolanda and equip that onto, onto her. Because that'll reduce her charge time. Um, what else do I want to do? Okay, so I guess I should prioritize. So they're all about to get get a level up. I'm going to go ahead and equip. Yeah, I'm going to unequip Valkyrie with the Emerald Necklace. I'm going to put that on Lawfer instead. Because that's probably the only character that I would probably want to keep going forward. Um, these other ones... I probably probably will will not to be honest, even though he, you know he's a nice samurai and everything. Eh, you know. Ha! Okay, so let's actually not kill him immediately and see what their attacks are. To my side, my noble Einherjar. We have nothing but to fight. Okay, so let me uh, read this here. So the the beasts of Gavandan. In the late 1700s, there was allegedly a wolf-like creature running around the French countryside and it killed like 100 people. Eventually, the French government was so c concerned by this that they had bounty hunters out looking for it. Many people claimed to have shot it, but it apparently never seemed to be affected by the bullets. Eventually, someone killed it and he claimed to have used a silver bullet, which is actually where the idea of a silver bullet killing a werewolf comes from. That is some really interesting trivia. I was not aware of that, but that is actually really interesting. So thank you for sharing that. Okay, so let's actually check out some of their skills. Ha! Okay, that was honestly a really quick kill. She's really powerful. She really is. Okay, so now it's time. Let's try out uh, June uh, and then um, Lawfer. Relatively weak. Of course. Okay. There you go. Pretty good. Decent, at least. Okay. 
Okay, chicken girl. Her oh my gosh, she just kills them all in like one attack. That's absolutely amazing. Is everyone alright? Okay, they all got like le levels up. Sweet. Okay, so that means we can go ahead and I guess upgrade some of their skills. Because yeah, we have a lot of skills that we can actually increase here. So Guts, this is actually one that I want to start increasing here. Even when a mortal wound is taken, DME remains at a certain level. Change of Chance of happening increases with skill level. So this will um, keep your health at the same level, even, even, even if a major attack is uh, taken on, on, on you. So I want to increase that, kind of increase that a little bit. Say Combo Counter. No more attack can be repeated from counter attack. However, order of repeated normal attack is fixed. Let's go ahead and do that as well. Let's see what else that we have. Attack power, increase her strength. Go ahead and, and, and do that a bit. Increase her guts some more. I guess let's do first aid a little bit. Okay, so, so for him, I want to learn... Actually, you know what? I'm going to save him because... He's actually the person that I believe I'm going to be sending up to Asgard. So I really don't really want to upgrade him too much. I, I will re replace him from my party. <laughs> Sorry, but yeah, he's, I think, the best character to, to send up in Chapter 2 if you if you get him. Lofer, let's go ahead and have him learn Counter. Okay, and then increase some of his other skills. That counter, first aid, guts. And this also increases his survival a little bit. And his attack power. There we go. And what about chicken girl? Okay, so she has weight reaction. Characters can attack with familiar even during charge turn. Performed by pressing uh, character button. Familiar attack power depends on skill level. Okay. Hmm. Let's do... I guess I'll do some of that for her. Because again, I probably don't plan on really using her too much for the most part. I can probably increase some of these other stats for her. Um, but yeah, I probably do not plan on continuing to really use her. Uh, let's see. And then... We want to put those skills on our characters. No, no, no. How do we do this? Okay, I think it's skill. There we go. Okay, so let's actually set up those skills. So let's get Guts on here. First aid, Guts. He hasn't, he hasn't had him learn. First aid, Guts. First aid for her. Okay, combo counter. Let's make sure that we get these on as well. Okay, wonderful. Okay, great. So, I think I'll probably use them for maybe one or one or two more battles, and then, and then I'll keep Lawfer, and then I'll replace, uh... Replace Jun. Okay. I think we are good. Let's take a look at the map. Okay, so I think I know where we are on the map. Here's the swamp filled with donkeys. Okay, Shadow Servant. Take a look. Scroll which allows you to memorize Shadow Servant. Okay. Not going to use that just yet. Okay, so I'm just going to head back as far as I possibly can. It looks like there's some enemies here, and... Oh, look. There's a plane up there. I think I have to actually head up here. This should be really easy. With our, with our mage. We have nothing but to fight. But I kind of want I wanted to see our other characters' like abilities and such. Probably won't really, really be able to see him, though. 
If we, if we keep, like, killing him, like, immediately... Yeah, probably won't be able to really see him. Okay. Oh, she actually got hit there. And she got fainted. Wow, okay. This is probably why it's best to just kill him off immediately. She literally has is like almost dead. Alright. Let's go ahead and finish him off, I guess, with our amazing magic. Icicle Edge. Okay. I have never lost a battle. Nice. Alright, so now I'm gonna go ahead and I guess mostly focus on the characters that I really wanna level up, I guess, so let's go ahead and replace our party. Let's do I guess I'll get I guess I'll get Bellaness in here and Lawfer. And I'll keep keep the keep the chicken girl. And upgrade some of some of them as they go. So who's about to get a level up next? It looks like it's gonna be Bellinus. So I'm gonna go ahead and equip the thing onto him. That is the uh, this one, right? The emerald necklace? Yes, yeah, so that'll increase our points. So yeah, it's kind of annoying that you have to do this every every single time, but it does help because you get a hundred additional capacity points by getting a level up. So it looks like he's next in line to get a level up. Oh, enemy here too. Yeah, yeah. To my side, my noble Einherjar. So these enemies should be really easy. Let's see if it kills them all though. Amazing. That is incredible. It might not go so well next time. Yeah, she's, this is gonna be, be like an easy dungeon. Just... The way that we're able to just kill him so quickly like that? Ha! To my side, my noble Einherjar! Okay. We have nothing but to fight. We have nothing but to fight. Now, I'm sure J Jolanda probably had a spell that could do that. I don't know if her fire spell would be sufficient. It might not go so well next time. Nice. Getting some nice experience. Okay, you know what? I do, I do feel... So okay, all the enemies are gone. A little re red orb has gone away. I do want to heal her because it's just... There you go. Just so little, little health. She really does. It is atrocious how little her health is. Okay, so here's the map. Okay, so I see... I see where, where we are on the map. Okay, so we can go in the back here. A okay, Shadow Servant again. Okay, wonderful. Let's head back, back here. Like, it looks like there, there's some treasure here as well. Holy Crystal. Nice. Let's see what that does. Okay, Holy Crystal. Crystal releases a holy attack on all enemies. Okay, it looks like it's just something that we can end up using there. Um, we may have probably be able to transmute it to Shadow Crystal, so it uses up a different... I could probably get rid of those if I really wanted the uh, money. Okay, let's keep heading over. There you go. Watch over me. Icicle Ed. Incredible. Oh my gosh, I just still can't believe that. Get to thee hence. Oblivion awaits thee. Okay, they all gotta level up, which is very, very good. 
Okay, so B a Bellinus got some more capacity points. Now, they're all about the same level, so they will, um, I guess, level up all about the same. So let's increase some of their skills. I guess I can do... Again, it really doesn't matter too much because I just increase his attack power, I guess. Increase his... Fight. Survival. Okay, I'll save the rest. Lawfer. I'll increase some of his guts here. He got some guts. Okay, and then as for her... I guess I can start increasing some of her um, magic magic power and make, make her even stronger. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Okay, I guess I'll do weight reaction as well. Just level that up a little bit. Okay. Wonderful. And then here's about again. I guess they're all about the same level, so I kind of want to put it on Lawfer. Instead, though, let's see. There we go. Want to increase his level a bunch. Okay, so looks like we have some more enemies this 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 way. Let's make sure there's nothing else over here. No. Okay. Yeah, ha! Okay, so I think. The attacks have been doing about like 1500 damage. This should do, what, even more now? Because we leveled her up. There's four enemies this time. Oh my gosh, almost 1700 damage. I'm proud to fight by your side. That is so good. 1400 experience, which is amazing. Oh, I love it. I love it so very much. Okay, so yeah, we have fully explored this. There's that little part of the map, but there was nothing up that way, so... Yeah, this should be a relatively quick dungeon at this rate. Not too worried about it. These are formidable adversaries. If we had to ta take these enemies on, like, one by one, it would, it, would, it would take a lot longer and we would probably be more prone to actually dying a bit more, but... The fact that I can just do that and just kill them off is amazing. Is everyone alright? Nice. We gotta be getting closer to level up as well. To my side, my noble I'm Harion. Okay, I'm not sure about that ghost. We haven't actually seen that ghost yet, but uh let's let's see if he can also take out the ghost really easily. Yeah, yep, it can. 1400, 1700. Just kill him. Is everybody okay? You're not hurt? Are they about to get a level up? Not not yet. They should be pretty close though. Let's see. Yeah, next to the battle, they're going to get, get a level up. Oh, it looks like Valkyrie. Okay, you know what? I'm actually going to put this on Valkyrie instead. The Emerald Necklace. Okay. Nice. Okay, so let's take a look at the map. I think we've explored... Yeah, looks like this is pretty much where we started over... over there. Okay, so I didn't fully explore that. That's actually head to head back there so we can finish off the map. Oh wait, actually, let's see. Yeah, okay, got it. Okay, a few enemies here we can take out pretty easily. To my side, my noble I'm oh, just just one ghost. Okay, I'm just gonna just gonna do a standard attack. There we go. Just a standard attack. Take him out easily. Burn in hell, blasphemer of souls. 
Okay, she didn't get a level up, but, but she's close. She's close. Ha! To my side, my noble Einherjar. All right, where those two ghosts? This looks like it might be tough. Yeah, it might be tough. It might be tough. Yeah, hopefully that wasn't enough to level up the rest of my party. Hopefully it was just enough to level up Va Valkyrie. Yes, it was. Perfect. Okay. That actually worked out, so now I can unequip the, uh... The item from, from her. Emerald necklace. Let's get rid of that. Put that on Lawfer. Okay. Let's upgrade her skills. So I guess I'll do... Let's go ahead and increase her attack power. Let's do guts a little bit more. And then I guess survival. And then fight. Okay. There we go. She's taken care of. Oh, there's a decent amount of enemies here. I don't think I got the first strike though. To my side, my noble Einherjar. I dedicate my soul to the gods. Oh, I did actually. Okay. So she's not actually able to do 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 her magic spell. There we go. Now that they're leveled up tremendously, they're actually able to uh, kill them off pretty easily. Okay, let's just do standard attacks, I guess. Okay. I love the first day. Just a little bit here and there. Okay, that was more of a standard fight. It might not go so well next time. Okay, they all gotta level up. Alright, you know what that means. We gotta increase some skills. Alright. I guess we will te teach him guts and the combo counter. Um, I guess his uh fight. Lawfer also increases. Let's do some more guts for uh, for him. Okay, he has max guts now. You got some guts. Okay, I'll save up the rest of her her points. And then let me just make sure that I have the skills set on our on our characters. A combo counter. A great guts. And then he also learned guts. Get that on there. Okay. There you go. We're all set up there. Yeah! Ha! Ha! To my side, my noble Einherjar. Oh, just one guy? Ha! There we go. Easy. You have served me well, my Einherjar. Yes, they have served you very, very well. Okay. So, let's see what we what we, what we got here. So, who's about to get a level up? I guess... Yeah, Lawfer is still the next cl closest one. So, let's make sure that that is equipped. Yep, the Emerald. Okay. Okay, I believe that is everything on this side, so... Yes. Okay, so it looks like we had to come over here anyway in order to actually pr uh, proceed. Let us continue on. Looks like we're in this next part part of the dungeon now. Okay, let's go... Ha! Clear out everything on the right and then go go to the left. To my side, my noble Einherjar. Father, mother, watch over me. Icicle Edge! 
Yes. I like when there's four of them though, and you just obliterate all four of them. Okay, what other enemies are here? Okay, nothing else there. Okay, a lot of en enemies here. Hopefully I got the first attack, I'm not sure. To my side, my noble Ein Herjar. I did not. Don't underestimate me. But it's fine. They didn't even do any damage to me anyway. As we just do the Icicle Edge and destroy them. Oh, and then it immediately took us right into the next next battle too. To my side, because we were right there by the other en enemy. Oh, there's only one though. Let's see what else we got. Okay, looks like there's no more enemies here. Great. I think I think that they're starting to get us scared now. They're like, oh no, we cannot compete. We cannot compete. Okay. Ha! okay here's a save point. Let's go ahead and make use out of this. Wonderful. Let's take a look at our map. Okay. So that that floor there. Okay. I think there might be something. Yeah, I think there's a little bit more that we need to go on that other f room. Let's make sure that we go all the way over here. These are formidable adversaries. But are they really? Are they really when they get destroyed with like one attack? Not really. They were mighty foes. They were not mighty foes. We were mighty foes against them. Okay. Let me see something. Okay, um... All right. Looks like there's some treasure here, and the tr this tree is rotting. Yeah. yeah. Just go ahead and attack it. Five thousand event experience. Wonderful. Okay, let me get me. Let me go back here first. So this is. Okay. Thought there would have would have been more. Okay, there actually might be more like further on. So let's actually wait on that. Let's, let's explore the other other side first. Yeah, right here. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I did not. I didn't even didn't even see him there. To my side, my noble Ein Herjar. Oh, it's a few of them. Formidable adversaries. Ha! <laughs> Just think, this is how a normal battle would end up going. Don't underestimate me. Oh, he's like, don't underestimate me. Oh! Alright, now it's time to take him out. Fight by your side. Very good. Very good. Let's see what we get. Ooh, a short spear, huh? I think that is for the lawfer, actually. 
Maybe now he'll be a bit stronger. Indeed it is, but it's the same. It has a 5% chance of breaking, so really no, no difference there. So there's also another item here. A cure condition. To my side, my noble Einherjar. We have nothing but to fight. Icicle Ed. Sure can't get over that. Now, of course, it's not going to be th this easy. We have to, um... We have to just, uh, be, be thankful that it's this easy for right now. Because it's not always gonna, gonna be that easy. Okay, so it looks like next, I guess, Valkyrie, I should equip the, the, um, accessory to. Get rid of the Emerald Necklace, put it on Valkyrie. Okay. And then we have some skills to level up as well, so let's do... So I do a bit, a bit more survival. A little bit in a fight. Pack power and more fight. Great. And then for her, I guess just to keep increasing her, her magic, magic power. As much as I can and then, yeah, she can't do anything with that. But I guess I'll put, put some into guts for, uh, for her. There we go. Okay, there's still another treasure here. A Demon Slayer. Quartz Gem. Okay, it looks like there's still more tre uh, treasure. Possibly, like, right here in the swamp. Shrek! Shrek, Shrek was, was guarding it. Flame Base Lord. Okay, let's take a look at some of these cool new items that we ended up getting. Okay, so we got, uh, I guess we can learn this, right? Cure Condition. Shadow Servant. Eh, I'll just wait on that. Increase CP by 20. Okay, we can just, we can just use that, okay. Or we can just transmute it as well. Malice Search, huh? Ring that warns wearer of danger. When equipped... Enemies with wicked intent will flash red. Oh, that, that sounds interesting. Let's go ahead and uh, give that a try. Dark Savior, huh? Huh. There's some interesting things here. We have two of these. Let's actually do one so we have Dark Dark Savior as well. Okay, and then for our others, we have to equip that. The flame one, 5% chance of breaking, 5% chance of breaking. Not a fan of those. Not a fan of those. Anyway, let's go ahead and equip uh, Malice Search here. So this will enemies will flash flash red when they have a, a bad intent. So I guess that means that they're stronger than most other enemies, or that there's a lot of them possibly. I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, that looks like this this part part of the map here is complete. Okay, we're actually almost at the end of this this du uh, dungeon, so... Yep, let's just keep heading over where we knocked down the uh, tree. It's, I'm gonna go ahead and, and, and save first. Okay, great. Okay, they're glowing red. To my side, my noble Iron Harry. But they, but they can't really do anything. I mean, they are they are so weak. Like it oh, it might be tough. Are you sure about that? Are you sure it's tough? <laughs> I don't think it's tough. I don't think it's tough one bit. Let us go, my friends. Nice. Nothing tough about that fight. Yeah, yeah. Okay. To my side, my 
my noble Ein Herriard. Do you think you can best me? Not only does it do 1500, it does 1500 multiple times. And it's so powerful. Let us go, my friends. To my side, my noble Ein Herion. I dedicate my soul to the gods. And an 1800 for the birds. Wow. You have paid the price for your evil. Okay. We should be getting close to another level up, shouldn't we? Should be relatively close, yeah. 1700 for a Valkyrie, so let's make sure that she has... Oh, she, she does have it on. Yeah, okay. Get out of that sludge. To the front? No, I do not want to go to the front front yet. Okay, charge. Very good. To the rear. This is where I want to want to go next because there is some stuff here. Ha! To my side, my noble Ein Herriard. Oh, nice. Four of them. Watch over me. I like when there's four of them because then they can all die at the same time and we get tons of experience. Their souls have been released. We have no reason to remain here. Okay. Looks like there's still a few en enemies here, it looks like. Okay, there's an enemy behind the tree. To my side, my noble Ein Herriard. Okay, I, I, I did the first attack. I did. Wonderful. Okay, Valkyrie should be getting a level up now, I think. You all fought so bravely. Yes, she did. Okay, wonderful. It looks like that's everything. There's a, there's a few. Oh, lots of treasure chests here. Holy crystal. Weight reaction. Eye of heaven, which we do not need. Element scepter. Okay, let's take take a look. So we can pretty much trans transmute the eye of heaven immediately. Oops. Rather. There you go. Yeah. Get rid of that crap. Radio reaction, trick step. Okay, holy crystal. Okay, let's just keep keep that for now. So the other items that, that we got was yeah we got this this one again the elemental scepter, which we really do not need. Anyway, let's go ahead and increase her skills some more. So she has cure condition now. Ah, gives the ability to cure status abnormalities. So she can do poison, freeze, paralysis, silence, curse, and stone. Very good. Okay, I think I'm gonna do... Do one more in survival. Let's increase her attack power. Her attack power is maxed out. So that is absolutely amazing. I guess I'll just increase her survival so, uh, some more. Okay, so yeah, she has... Her, her attack power is 8 times 30. So that's 240 more. So she should be pretty, pretty, uh... Pretty power, uh, powerful, to say the least. Let's see her stats, actually. So she has... 330... Okay, I guess 413 attack. 337. 290. And then 1800 for her. Oh my gosh. That is crazy. Okay, anyway. Remove the emerald necklace and put it on... Who is next to level up? Oh, Bellinus. He's like right there. Okay, I believe we have cleared out this dungeon. I think this is just the last little way to go, right there. 
Yeah, it looks like the whole dungeon. Yep, okay. There isn't much left here. We're like right at the end. Okay, here's the save point. This is gonna be the last one, I think, before the boss. So, what I actually want to do... I'm going to equip Valkyrie with the Dragon Slayer. So it has a 5% chance of breaking, but it's incredibly powerful against dragons. So let's go ahead and change that. So some of, some of her skills have been changed. I think if, if we look at her skills, let's see. Probably some of the stuff here. I mean, not... I guess all the stuff that I already have that I use is already going to be the same. But some of her other skills, I guess, are going to be a little different. So, yeah, the uh, boss is a dragon. And, yeah, we're going to be go ahead and fighting against this a dragon. Take a look. Okay, safe point. Okay, so I see... There's a way up, up in the top left to uh, go. Right up here. Yep, okay. Looks like we're on our way, way there. Let's do this. What is a dragon zombie doing here? It is hard to believe that it suffered a mortal wound in combat. Oh, it's going to suffer a lot more with the dragon slayer. Come to me, dark warriors. Battle awaits us. So it has a 5% chance of breaking. Watch over me. And it only actually breaks if you end the turn like it it never breaks on your very f on the turn that that you kill the the enemy or at least the very first turn something along those lines so <laughs> one attack it pretty much killed it that's it it's done what a wimp boss so boss was a freaking wimp 4200 experience Oh my gosh, isn't that insane? Isn't that insane? Okay. Okay, so the first thing I want to do, I want to unequip the Dragon Slayer because we do not want that equipped. Okay, uh, she just has the standard cross spell. Wonderful. That's right, and then Be Belenus got to level up as well. Let's go ahead and give him some skills. I guess. Increase his guts a little bit. Increase his survival. So increase his attack power. And then... I guess give him a little bit of first aid. And then who is about to get a level up next? Okay. Emerald necklace on law for now. Okay. Okay, let's, let's get our amazing stuff here. Bark of the Dryad. I would not be sending this to Odin, of course. I would be keeping this. Okay, and then we also got the inscribed fragment. Would not be sending that that to Odin either. Twenty thousand event experience, which is absolutely amazing. Let's see these new items that we ended up getting. Okay, bark of the dryad, bark from the tree, tree, tree of the dryad, and a fragment with some kind of important matter described upon it. So. Let's see if I can do anything with these. Hmm. 
So I actually want to save the Bark of the Dryad. That's actually really important for later. So I want to make sure that I hold on to that for sure. Okay. And then the other one. The other one is inscribed fragment. Let's take a look if this has any sort of major use. Okay, it can turn into trap search. I don't know how useful that actually is. Uh, let's see. When when equipped, informs wearer of treasure chest conditions. Red equals trap. Yellow equals easily breakable. Only oh. Okay. You know what? I will get that. I will get that. So let's actually get rid of the Malice search. That's not really important for her. Let's put Trap search on instead. So now she'll be able to tell based on the treasure chest if it's a trap. And then she can kind of move out of the way. Interesting. Okay, well I believe that that is everything here in this dungeon. Yep, that is... That is the dungeon. I think that there would be a little bit more up at the top there, probably. Like, I, I fell down, but I don't think there's anything there, really. Okay. Go ahead and head on out. Okay, so all that's left now is that last dungeon, the Solano Academy, which we will do next time. So I'm going to go ahead and save and then we have to do that and then we have to send our character up to Asgard. So very, very, very good. Okay, so next time we're going to head into the final dungeon for chapter two. We were sent up, up um, someone. Well, we already know who, who I'm going to send up and yeah, I'll see you next time for Valkyrie Profile.